There seems to be a few people having issues with the uh, Z-axis moving properly. I did too uh, at the beginning. Uh, but, like, the real issue actually is that all the four rods and bearings, because I do have dual Z-axis, uh, they all need to be perfectly aligned. So it gets kind of uh, hard, especially with if you're like me, you don't have any special tools. But one easy way that I got to fix it, first I did reverse the bearing as suggested by one of the users in the group. I loosened all the screws holding the little blocks, all sides, all the screws holding the bearing just loosened and the bottom blocks too also both sides of the motors just loosened a bit and I made sure that my bed was as high as I could and I made sure that I had pretty much the same the same distance on each side. Now I also measured the other side and then I tightened the top block and using the front panel I moved the z-axis down to around 200 196 millimeter that's good. Then I waited till it was all the way down. And then I tightened the bottom blocks, the motor. I brought the bed back to the middle. And then I tightened the bearings. So everything loose, the bed as high as possible. Make sure all four corners are equal. Tighten the top bring the bed down, tighten the bottom, bring the bed to the middle, tighten the bearings. That's that with some also uh, some grease in these and in the bearing and now uh, it moves perfectly fine. It doesn't do any screeching sound, it doesn't lock up, it doesn't do any layer uh, like that. It like it did before these separation it's all perfect now it's just great so that's my tip uh, might have better ways but that's how I did it